Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we will understand update events of component lifecycle. So we are going to understand component will receive properties and should component update method. So in my application, I'm just using timer component to demonstrate these two methods. In this component, we have a state property and a button which increase the value of state when we click on it. I will leave this component as it is and just create another component just underneath here. So I will just create a component here. So I will just say CC. So this is a snippet for creating a new component and just say enter and just name this component logger, right? I don't want to export this component. So I will just remove the statement and just remove this state. Now, I just wanted to use this component in my timer component, right? So in this logger component, I will just create my first method, which is component will receive properties and just specify parenthesis and the body of this function. This method takes an argument, which is new property, right? And just after that, here I will say, console.log and just say component will receive properties right is triggered save the changes so this method will execute whenever a component receive a new set of properties this method will be called first also please note that react call this method even when the properties have not changed react doesn't call this method in a mount process instead it only calls this method if some of the components property may update right so if i just save the changes just create a division tag here save the changes and just call this logger component here so i will just create its six heading tag and just call this logger component here. So I just wanted to specify a console message to the constructor of the timer component. So here I will say console.log timer constructor call. Save the changes and you will get your constructor message. But where is this method where is this message this method is not triggering because this method is only execute when a component properties is updated or change let me show you how it's work so i just wanted to remove this division tag from here and just return a new property so i will just say here this dot property dot time right so I just wanted to create this property and return it. I just wanted to get this property here. I just wanted to initialize this property in the logger component. So I will just say time is equal to, I just wanted to initialize this property with this counter property, right? So I will just say this dot state dot counter. So I just wanted to initialize this timer property with this state counter property. Now, when I click on this button, component will receive property method will execute. Let me show you. When I click on this button, right? So you will get component will receive properties is triggered because when we click on this button, component will update its property, right? Let me show you the property on the console. So I will just say console.log and say new property and just specify a property name, new property, right? Save the changes. And when I click on it, this is your timer property, right? When you click it again, method. you will get updated property every time. So this function is triggered when the property of the component is updated. Now let's understand another, which is should component update right and this method is also take 
two parameters the first is going to be new properties and the second is new state right and here i will say console.log and just call and just say here should component update is triggered save the changes by default this method is not implemented so every update of state or property causes a render even if the property didn't change however if you wanted to avoid possible unnecessary renders you could handle this here returning false means the react will not execute component will update method render method and component did update method if the update of properties or state really affect the output of the component to do so you could do a comparison of current property or state to the next property or state if the component shouldn't update just return false and the component won't update right let me show you how so i just wanted to return true here and when i click on it you will get should component update is triggered right now i just wanted to show you the component parameters so i will say console.log and say here new properties and just concatenate with the new properties copy this and paste it here new state and say here new state save the changes and just click on this button right so you will get a new property and a null value the null value is because of we did not specify any state to this component that is why we get null here if you define any state to this component then you will get the state value right so here is your property right now if i just return false here then let's see what's happened save the changes and just click on it did you notice this component is not updating right when i click on it only this component is updating and this is not updating that is because of we return false to the should component update method this method affect on the output so if this method return true this method will execute component will update method your render method and component did update method right so if you return false then these three methods will not execute if you wanted to stop re-rendering your ui then you can return false otherwise return true right that's it if you have any question you can ask me in the comment answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture